A powerful 7.6 magnitude earthquake and more than a dozen smaller ones jolted Japan just hours into the new year. People in stores, offices and subways felt the impact of the quakes, which collapsed houses, cracked roadways and disrupted electricity and the train system. Now, it may surprise you, but scientists here in Colorado play a crucial role when earthquakes like this happen. Your reporter Olivia Young reports from the National Earthquake Information Center in Golden, where scientists monitor seismic activity around the world, around the clock. Minutes into the new year, scientists in Golden jumped into action to determine the precise location and magnitude of an earthquake halfway across the world. This earthquake happened on the west coast of Japan. The USGS National Earthquake Information Center monitors earthquakes across the globe and reports potential impacts. We have an automatic system that first locates the earthquake um, and gives a rough location and then our 24 by 7 staff goes in and manually checks that location and modifies the data. Located in Colorado because of its lower earthquake risk, thousands of seismic stations across the world send their data here. This is the main shock and then you can start to see the aftershocks come in. Now seismologists are working to understand how the fault on Japan's coast ruptured. The plates move kind of vertically. And what damage it will cause. It was particularly dangerous earthquake because it happened near the coast. Um, so it not only created violent shaking on land under a populated area, but it also created a tsunami. Early reports suggest at least four people have died in this earthquake. But USGS projections estimate there could be up to 100 deaths and hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. So this was the 7-5. This is a 6-2. Staff in Colorado monitor aftershocks as Japan deals with the aftermath of a deadly earthquake. We've uh, recorded about 30 aftershocks for this earthquake in the range of magnitude 4.5 to 6.2. Um, aftershocks will continue for weeks, potentially months after an earthquake of this size. And there's always a small chance of having an earthquake as large or larger than the earthquake that did occur. In Golden, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.